This is Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. Now from the Collins Aerospace Studio at the Nordloff Center in downtown Rockford, here's your host, Eric Wilson. Thank you for joining us. We are excited you are here for another edition of Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. Last week, you may have seen Marengo put up a very good fight, but eventually they lost to our reigning champs, the Auburn Knights. They move into the Final Four, which means there are only three seats up for grabs in that Final Four, and one of our two teams today will earn one of those spots. First, let's welcome the Pecatonica Indians. In their last game, the Indians held off a late charge by Byron to win 160 to 140. Perfect example of why every question counts in our game, right, Ryan? Ryan is the captain of the Pecatonica Indians. Introduce us to your team. Do we buzz in? Yep. All right, to my left is Ashley. To my right is Miguel. To my far right is Jackson. Welcome and good luck to the Pecatonica Indians. Facing off against the Belvedere Bucks. How about a nice round of applause for them? Thanks to three straight correct answers by David at the end, the Bucks came from behind to get the best of Harlem. 210 to 180, a win today makes it four straight trips to the final four. That would be sweet, Jack, to keep that streak alive, wouldn't it? Jack is the captain, introduce us to your team. On my far left is Malin, on my near left is Lindsay, and on my right is David. All right, and uh, good luck to both of our teams. Remember, um, again, both of those, both of your last round games are examples of how important each of these questions is and how close our games can be. We expect this one to be relatively close as well. So we begin with our buzz in. Hands on your buzzers, the two most important rules. Wait for me to call your name and say your answer loudly and clearly. Good luck to both of our teams. Here we go with our first question this week. What city's landmarks include Lewis Sullivan's Wainwright Building? David. St. Louis. Yes, you didn't even need the most obvious one. The steel-like structure shaped like a weighted catenary called the Gateway Arch. Belvedere earns the first points of the game. What artist who described finding an endless story and the man I chose on her hit Underneath Your Clothes featured Wyclef Jean on Hips Don't Lie? Lindsay. Shakira. That's right. Also a former coach on The Voice. Two in a row, Belvedere. What novel by William Styron centers on a Catholic woman who's forced to decide which of her children will die at Auschwitz? Meryl Streep won a Best Actress Oscar for playing this character, Sophie, in Sophie's Choice. That was the name of the novel. What woman whose father, Thomas D'Alessandro, was mayor of Baltimore, tore up the 2020 State of the Union address and is the speaker, Lindsay? Pelosi. That's correct, U.S. Speaker of the House. What first name is shared by current Italian Prime Minister Draghi, ice hockey legend Lemieux, and a red-capped plumber who is Nintendo's mascot, Lindsay? Mario. Yes, that last clue made it pretty obvious. Nice work. What person's effigy is burned in bonfires on November 5th, a holiday that celebrates the failure of his plot to blow up Parliament in 1605? David. Fox. Yes, Guy Fox, Guy Fox. The holiday is actually Guy Fox Night. What property, which Henry's Law says is proportional to a gas's partial pressure, is quantified by KSP and is a substance's ability to dissolve. Ryan. Solubility. Yes, that's correct. And those are Peck's first points of the game. What basketball player who pioneered the skyhook shot changed his name, Jackson? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yes, in 1971, after converting to a new religion. He's also known as Roger Murdoch, the co-pilot. That was for your parents. What American composer arranged the slow movement of his Opus 11 string quartet into his Adagio for strings? David. Glass. Incorrect. Pecatonica, you could take these 10 points. That was a tough music question. Samuel Barber. What leader, who was briefly married to Zachary Taylor's daughter, served alongside Vice President Alexander Stevens as President of the Confederacy? David. Jefferson Davis. Yes, that is correct. What molecular geometry is exhibited by sulfur dioxide in which the central sulfur atom has two lone pairs? David. Bent. Yes, bent molecular geometry. Oxygen kind of does the same thing in water. What character 
who sells a boy named Zuri to a sailor and who gives a companion the name Friday is shipwrecked on an island in a book by Daniel Defoe. David. Robinson Crusoe. Yes, the full sentence or the full the full title is The Life and Strange Surprising Adventures of Robinson Crusoe of New York Mariner. First sentence of a longer title. In 2021, the Calder Fire and Dixie Fire became the first wildfires known to have crossed the peaks of what mountain range in Eastern California? David. Sierra Nevada. Yes, that is right. What man who led the expedition of the thousand in 1860 and had followers known as red shirts was the military leader of Italian unification? Relatively tough history question there too. Giuseppe Garibaldi. And that's the last question of the round. That's how we end. Not too many non-answers this round. There was, those were some so, that's solid work from both of our teams. Belvedere has 90, just a question shy of triple digits. Pecatonica has 20. But we've got three more rounds of games to play. And one of them is called Volleyball, and it is next. All right, one round in today, and Belvedere's off to a pretty solid start. They have 90 points. Pecatonica has 20. Before we get to more gameplay, a very special thank you to our judge today, Jed Trias, who is the director of design at Rockford's Larson and Darby firm here. But um, if you're paying close attention this fall, he may look a little familiar to you. That's because Jed was a contestant on the game show Jeopardy. And now he is sharing his expertise with us here. It's not easy to get on that show at all, but then the, to have someone from this area get on the show is pretty spectacular. So we appreciate that. And we are lucky to have you here, Jed. Thanks for being here. Contestants, our volleyball is a conferring round. So you're allowed to work as a team, but all the answers have to come from the captains because of our flip of the coin. Ryan, you and the Indians get first, or the first question for this week's volleyball. Are you ready for it? Yep. Here it comes. What character who enjoys eating thistles and is prone to losing his tail was introduced in A.A. A. Milne's book, Winnie the Pooh and is a gloomy donkey? Eeyore. We're so happy you got that right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of apologizing this week. Um, over to Belvedere now. What Roman emperor who executed his wife Fausta and son Crispus proclaimed the Edict of Milan, which officially granted toleration of Christianity? What's well, Constantine? Constantine? Yes, that's correct. I'm going to give partial credit to David there because it looked like he leaned over and gave you that answer. You're in triple digits. Back over to Peck. What company, which was founded in 2010 and received FDA fast track approval in 2021 for an RSV vaccine, is named for its vaccine's modified RNA? The buzzer got you. I feel like Zach was saying that answer for long distance. Moderna was correct, but we have to have that from the captains. Back over to Belvedere. What letter is the name of a programming language that influenced other languages whose names add sharp and plus plus after this letter? C. Yes. If you didn't even know programming, you had 26 letters to choose from, but it is C. And we're back over to Pectonica. What co-founder of the consulting firm West Exec Advisors is the current U.S. Secretary of State? Blinken. Blinken? Yes, you got that. Very good. And that time you didn't have any help. That was all you. I saw that, Ryan. Nice work. Back over to Belvedere. From 1538 to 1541, Geneva banned what reformer who wrote Institutes of the Christian Religion during his exile and advocated predestination? Luther. That is, and, and it was a good guess. John Calvin. Tough religion question. Back to Peck. What author of The Lair of the White Worm also wrote about Lucy Westenra, who is given a garlic necklace by Dr. Van Helsing in the novel Dracula? Stoker. Yes. Stoker? Yes, Bram Stoker. You got it. Quick 10 points for you. Back to Belvedere. What gene editing technique derived from the bacterial immune system? uses the enzyme Cas9 to cut DNA. The full name is clustered, regularly interspersed, short palindromic repeats, but it's thankfully better known as CRISPR. Back to Pecatonica. A coordinate system using R, phi, and theta 
is named for what geometric shape whose surface area is 4 pi r squared and whose volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed? Sphere? Yes, that was a kind of a tough, long geometry question. You got that, and that's how we end the round with those 10 points for pe Pecatonica. It's closing the gap a little bit. Pecatonica has 60, Belvedere in triple digits with 110 halfway through our game, and our lightning round will change those scores very quickly because most of you have played this game before. You know how fast that goes. That lightning round is next, but first, you get a chance to play at home with a Burstrom bonus question. Credited as the third American in space, which astronaut and former U.S. Senator from Ohio became the first American to orbit the Earth? Our scores right now sit at Belvedere with 110, Pecatonica at 60. Before we get to more questions though, well this is a question, but there's no points on the line, but pizza and pasta from Lino's of Rockford. Hands on your buzzers contestants and let me know if you know the answer to this. Credited as the third American in space, which astronaut and former U.S. Senator from Ohio became the first American to orbit the Earth? Go ahead, David. Glenn. You got it. That's right, John Glenn. And I didn't want to interrupt your applause. John Glenn's Korean War wingman is also pretty famous. Boston Red Sox legend Ted Williams flew more than half of his 39 combat missions with John Glenn. And knowing our executive producer's love for baseball, that comment probably came from him. So congratulations, David. You win the Lino's Pizza Party for you and the team. We'll be back with our Nika IBEW Lightning Round in about two minutes. Back to more gameplay here on Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. Congratulations again, David, for your win in the Bergstrom bonus question. Enjoy the Lino's Pizza. Now let's get some points back on the board. Nika IBEW Lightning Round has lots of them. And because of the coin flip, Belvedere, you get first choice. Jack, your three categories are titles in titles, German loan words, 1968. Uh, we'll take 1968. All right. Answer the following about the year 1968. 60 seconds to get through the category. You could add 100 points to your total. That would put you in a very solid lead. Then, uh, Ryan, you and the Indians will have 30 seconds to get to whatever questions they don't. And advice for both teams, you can pass. Jack, you ready? Yes. Here we go. Answer the following about the year 1968. President first elected that year. Uh, Rick Nixon. 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 Correct. Civil rights leader killed by James Earl Ray. Uh, Martin, Luther Martin Luther King Jr. Correct. North American city that hosted the Summer Olympics. St. Louis. Incorrect. Sorry. A military offensive began on this Vietnamese holiday. Pass. The city's Democratic National Convention devolved into chaos. So Chicago. Chicago. Correct. Man who assassinated Robert F. Kennedy. Pass. Tennis player and future AIDS activist who won the U.S. Open. Uh, McEnroe. Incorrect. Period of liberalization in Czechoslovakia. Prague Spring. Prague Spring. Correct. Band who released its White Album. Beatles. The Beatles. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Japanese author of Snow Country who won a Nobel Prize. Murakami. 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 Incorrect. And there's no time to get back to the two that you passed on. Two, three, four, five. 50 points added to your score, you're up to 160. So 100 points in the lead, but you can close that gap a little bit, Ryan, with the ones that are left up here. So there's four, or five, sorry, potentially 50 more points for you. Only 30 seconds to get to them, and I'll read them as fast as I can for you. If you're paying attention, this may be relatively easy, who knows? Answer the following about the year 1968. North American city that hosted the Summer Olympics. Atlanta. Incorrect. Military offensive began on this Vietnamese holiday. I pass. A man who assassinated Robert F. Kennedy. Oswald. Incorrect. Tennis player and future AIDS activist who won the U.S. Open. Williams. Incorrect. Japanese author of Snow Country who won a Nobel Prize. Misaki. Incorrect. A military offensive began on this, and that's all we have time for. So. Uh, no, nothing added to your score. Those last five were relatively hard. The North American city, now North America may have thrown you off because Mexico is considered North America. It was Mexico City. The military offensive was the Tet Offensive in Vietnam. The man who assassinated Robert F. Kennedy is Sirhan Sirhan. 
The tennis player and future AIDS activist who won the U.S. Open, actually the first black man to win a major singles championship, was Arthur Ashe. And that last one maybe been the, was the toughest. The Japanese author of Snow Country who won a Nobel Prize was Yasunari Kawab Kawabata. Kawabata. All right, easy for me to say. Glad I, I didn't have to pronounce it. All right, uh, now we go over to Pecatonica for the choice of these last two categories. So, Ryan, you have titles in titles and German loan words. Titles and titles. All right, give the royal or noble title, such as Duchess, that fills in the blank in the names of these works. So I will give you the name, and I will leave a space there and say the word blank. So you teams have to come up with the, the royal title that fills that blank. 60 seconds for the category. It's on the clock. If you run this, you will tie the game. Ryan, are you ready? Yes. Here is your first one. Give the royal or noble title that fills in the blank in the names of these works, and answers may repeat. Alexandre Dumas' novel, The Blank of Monte Cristo. Count. Correct. William Golding's novel, Blank of the Flies. Lord. Lord. Correct. Wallace Stevens' poem, The Blank of Ice Cream. Pass. Oscar Wilde's play, Blank Windermere's Fan. Queen. Queen. Incorrect. T.H. White's novel, The Once and Future Blank. King. King. Correct. D.H. Lawrence's novel, Blank Chatterley's Lover. Pass. Edmund Spencer's epic poem, The Fairy Blank. Queen. Queen. Correct. Rudyard Kipling's short story, The Man Who Would Be Blank. King. Correct. Eugene O'Neill's play, The Blank Jones. Pass. Joseph Conrad's novel, Blank Jim. Pass. Wallace Stevens' poem, The Blank of Ice Cream. King. Incorrect. D.H. Lawrence's novel, and that's our timer. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five. So you're 50 points richer, and we've got 50 left on the board for you, Belvedere. So you could, expend, uh, you could expand on the 50-point lead you have right now. 30 seconds is on the clock. Jack, are you ready? Yeah. You have the royal or noble title that fills in the blank in the names of these works. Wallace Stevens' poem, The Blank of Ice Cream. Emperor. Correct. Oscar Wilde's play, Blank Windermere's Fan. Lady. Correct. D.H. Lawrence's novel, Blank Chatterley's Lover. Lady. Correct. Eugene O'Neill's play, The Blank Jones. Earl. Incorrect. Joseph Conrad's novel, Blank Jim. Prince. Incorrect. Those last two were relatively tough, right? The only two no one got. Eugene O'Neill's play is The Emperor Jones, and Joseph Conrad's novel is Lord Jim. So as we enter our final challenge, it's only 80 points between our teams. Belvedere has 190, Pekatanka has 110, and in our final challenge, every question is worth 20 points. We'll see what happens right after this break. One more round left today, and this game is pretty tight. We expected it to be this way because both of these teams had very close matches in their previous round. Belvedere's on top as of now with 190 points. Pecatonica has 110. Hands on your buzzers, contestants, because our Mercy Health final challenge is a buzzing round. Two most important rules. Wait for me to call your name. Say your answer loudly and clearly. Good luck. Here we go. What artist who sculpted Marie van Goethem in his work Little Dancer of 14 Years also created many impressionist paintings of ballerinas. Jack. Uh, Manet. Incorrect. Pecatonica. These could be your 20 points. Edgar Degas. That was kind of a tough art question. In September 2021, Haven, Wisconsin hosted the 43rd edition of what biennial contest comprising 28 match play events between U.S. David. Cup. Yes, U.S. and European golfers. Americans won that by the biggest margin since 1979. You get the first points of the round. What color names both a flower and a girl addicted to chewing gum in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? David. Violet. Yes, she turns into a giant blueberry, if you remember that one. Violet Beauregard. What plant tissue, which contains tracheids and vessel elements, functions in transpiration, pull to transport water, and is found alongside phloem? 
Ryan. Xylem. Yes, and those are your first points of the round. What city, the headquarters of the telecom company Ericsson, names a syndrome in which hostages... David. Stockholm. Yes, they bond with captors and is the capital of Sweden. In physics, what term refers to any process that reduces the oscillation amplitude of an oscillatory system? Jackson. Dampener. Say that again. Dampener. Incorrect. David. Dampening. Incorrect. Damping. Damping or damped. What BBC show's title was a derogatory nickname for the protagonist who ran a guinea pig themed cafe and was played by Phoebe Wallerbridge? That was actually adapted from Waller Bridge's one woman show. The show is Fleabag. What author who wrote about a clerk who says he would prefer not to work in Bartleby the Scrivener wrote about Captain Ahab in David? Melville. Yes, that is right. What city whose Hotel de Mille Colline was featured in a 2004 film is the capital of Rwanda? David. Kigali. That is correct. That Hotel Rwanda movie starring Don Cheadle. What element obtained from the greenish ore malachite can oxidize to give the verdigris found on old statues and is still used to coat pennies? Ryan. Copper. Yes. Tom Canty's resemblance of Edward VI is central to the plot of what Mark Twain novel? Ryan. The Fall of the House of Usher? Incorrect. Belvedere, you could take these 20 points, put you above 300. No answer. The Prince and the Pauper, but you didn't need it. That's the end of our round. And Belvedere, you are moving on. Congratulations. Nice round of applause for the Belvedere Bucks. <laughs> Heading into familiar territory in the Final Four, you will also face Auburn in your next round. Uh, Pecatonica, first, this is the toughest part of the game. We hate to say goodbye, but we have to do it. We... Uh, we are sorry to see you go, but we do off want, want to say goodbye to our seniors. How many of you are seniors? So pretty much everybody up there except Miguel, right? Okay, Miguel, we'll see you next year. And actually, we don't have to say goodbye to Ryan because Ryan will see you a little bit later on this season in our All-Star game. We're looking forward to that as well. And hopefully you are looking forward to next week's game of Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl when Belvedere North takes on Hananiga. We'll see you then.